So we are still broadcasting live from uh, Pro Protea Glen, a secondary school, ahead of that big switch on, which will involve the Premier of Gauteng, Mr. David Makura, and the Minister of Basic Education, uh, Ma'am Angie Mutsecha. We'll also have the MEC Panyaza Lasufi taking us through the proceedings. But almost 2,000, or I should say just over 2,800 teachers went through the e learning process before the big switch on today. Right now, I'm joined by uh, Mr. Uh, Jeffrey Chauke, who is a teacher of physical science sciences here at the Protea Glen Secondary School. So thank you very much for joining me here on uh, Morning Live. Just get us, give me a sense of the training process that you had to undertake in order to become a fair with the board and be able to pass that the teaching skills on to the, the learners. All right, thank you. Uh, we are taught how to use the smart board, uh, notebook of which is very easy and it arouses the interest of learners. As you can see, I've prepared term three. Uh, topic which is electric uh, current physical science you've got this we call this the title page where you will have your lesson objectives for lesson objectives here at the end of this lesson learners are able to must be able to calculate the current calculate the potential difference calculate the total resistance and again you can be able to hide using this curtain for for example, I'm saying thanks to our MEC there. It's not part of this, but I wanted to thank him. Then also you can incorporate a, a lesson. We've got a lesson activity whereby learners are able to choose the correct one. For example, the instrument that is used to measure current, if it's watch, this one is, obviously it will be wrong because the correct answer there is it's a meter. For and, and just a quick question, in terms of the lesson plans that you're, that you're doing on the smart board, that then translates back to the tablet where the child or the learner is able to interact directly with you as you're going through your lesson plan? Yes, they are directly linked. For example, you've got the tablets, they've got also the books, the e-books, we have the e-books, it opened that site. Yeah. Then even this, we've got cyber, cyber schools whereby the, 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 the activity done on this is linked to the tablets. How and easy was it to learn the system? Very, very easy. I was also com a computer, uh, uh, I'm computer, I know computer, how to use computer. So it's almost uh, like a computer. Mr. Chalky, just in terms of how it changes the lesson plan, share with me that quickly. Does it make it easier now? Very, very, very easy. Very, very easy. And you, you can save your work for each class because each class is a dynamic. Okay. Mr. Chauke, thank you very much for joining me. He is a teacher here at Protea Glen Secondary School, Physical Sciences, just taking us through one of the lesson plans you'll have with the learners as we roll out the smart uh, boards today, the smart classrooms, the classrooms of the future. A little bit later, we'll be... Uh, after the ad break, joined by the Premier of Gauteng, as I mentioned, Mr. David Makura. We'll also have the Minister of Basic Education, Angie Mutsecha, here. And they'll do the big switch on over 375 schools in the greater Gauteng area. Their no-fee schools will go live with connectivity. We're talking about e-books and these 3D multimedia boards. So don't go anywhere. We'll take an ad break.